The name of this work is called Giant Triple Mushroom. The city and country of work is Stockholm, Sweden. The specific location of this work is at the Pompidou. The artist responsible, his name is Carson Holler. He is his nationality is German. And the medium, I think it's like plaster and then like painted acrylic, I think. I couldn't really find exactly what it was made out of, but like from my mind, it looked like that. Uh, the time period is definitely contemporary. I couldn't find any horse historical relevance on it. I just know that he made a bunch of these mushroom type sculptures. Uh, how long did it take? I would say about a couple of years because this is one part of his many series of different mushrooms. Uh, the reason why this is important is because it shows different species of mushrooms and their hallucinatory effects on people. Uh, his historical contribution is that he's a, he's a biologist, but he does art on the side to help people learn about mushrooms and like their side effects and that they're, if they're good or bad. Uh, my personal observation is that when you look around the mushroom and you go around, there's actually two other mushrooms on the other side. And so one half, this beautiful red, orange, yellow mushroom, that's the bad half of the mushroom. And then the other two mushrooms on the back half are the good mushrooms that you can actually eat. Uh, something... The reason why I picked it is that I just thought it was cool and fun. It's a gigantic mushroom. And it was like at the very end of the hall and I was like really interested. And how does it compare to other arts during this time period? Uh, it's just fun and weird. And that's why I believe a lot of contemporary art definitely has that weird fun side. A fun fact about it is that this mushroom right here that you see is can cause serious gastrointestinal and neurology new neurological I sorry just had a brain fart okay. neurological disorders so pretty much it gives you broad brain disorders and a very messed up stomach if you eat this so if you come across this mushroom don't eat that mushroom which is pretty much the whole point of these mushrooms, to warn people about their side effects. So, pretty cool.